welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I shape my eyebrows with my depilatory. Y'all know what we do, we jump straight into this video. So my face is clean. You're actually not supposed to use soap, and I did just use soap, so hopefully it doesn't burn like super, super bad. You're gonna need your depilatory of choice. I am actually using this razorless cream shave. It's actually for beards, but I saw someone use the powder one for their eyebrows, and we saw this cream one, and I've just been using it ever since. And then, of course, you're gonna need your tools, which is just gonna be these two. I just have, this is literally just a, an actual eyebrow makeup brush. And then this is literally the other eyebrow makeup brush. I use both ends of them. And then you're also gonna need a towel. You can get any towel. You can even use paper towels, but I feel like these get, you know, get better. And then last but not least, you're just gonna need a timer. Just gonna use my phone for my timer since my watch decides it wants to do it. Like, who does that? Okay, so on the thing, it says do not exceed seven minutes, but I only do like, on the bottle, is, it has four minutes, so I only do four minutes. So what I like to do, is I actually like to start off with one eyebrow first and then I kind of, you know, fill it in and then once it gets to literally the last minute, I'll do the same thing on the other eye. And then I'll wipe that off and then that's when I'll see, all right, which is what I like. We're gonna work with that. Just for the sake of this video, we're gonna do one eyebrow at a time. I was gonna do a voiceover, but I already know this video is gonna be very short. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through what I do and I'm gonna do it. Does that make sense? Okay. I shape it how I want the hairs to basically flow. So I want it to go like up and then down. And of course, you know, you hold it like that, which are whatever. That's all technical terms. So mm, that's kind of how I want my eyebrows to be shaped. So next thing I do, open this up and then I just, you know, scoop de doop. So I'm just gonna get some, just a little bit. Mind you, a little goes a long way. So you wanna work in smaller sections. Then I'm just going to start like applying it and just kind of shaping out my eyebrows. So if you know how to do makeup, it's literally just that. So if you were to put concealer on your face, where are you putting that concealer? And that's exactly what you do with this, with this cream. And because my hairs aren't that bad, we don't got to do too much. I'm gonna add a little bit more just cause I noticed for me, like my hairs are thick and like sometimes if you miss something, you gotta go back over it with like tweezers and me, I'm not a fan of tweezers. So if I don't have to go over it with tweezers, I'm not gonna try to. That seems good. And then what you wanna do is I'm gonna start my timer. So I just started my four minute timer. What you wanna do as well is you wanna make sure that you get everything. So don't burn yourself either. That's why I only like to do four minutes because you are putting this on your skin, but just go down because sometimes like I'll do it and then I don't go down and it doesn't get all the hairs that were down there at the bottom. And so I just be like, you know, and then the tweezers can't even get that either. So just make sure you get that as well. I really hope the lighting is not that bad. Um, so yeah, and now we just let that sit. We got about three minutes left. So. Okay, I'm not, we're not doing that. A few minutes later. So the four minute timer is up on that one. So the next thing that I like to do, I don't exceed seven minutes, but once the timer is up, that's when I start on the tops. Kind of got a good gist of how I want it to go, right? And so you just, the top is actually not that bad, but you could do a little, a little cleanup. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the top, you guys. So we're just gonna take the depilatory and then I'm like trying to do this in a way where you guys can see it but like where it's also comfortable where like the light isn't in you guys' face this is harder than it looks okay there you go and so this is the brush I use when I mess up so here 
kind of messed up a little bit so I'm just gonna take it and then just go underneath just like that and then you know shake the eyebrow back up how I want it and then you just put like the excess back back on your eye you know what I mean so And don't worry, we can always go back over, like, if you missed anything. So don't worry about if you missed anything. And I'm just going to go over. We do rush the top because y'all know we got to get the bottom off when you start feeling it tingle. You know, you need to take it off, so. And that should be good. All right, so now I'm going to just clean that up. And then we're going to wipe off the bottom. So all you do is you take your rag and then you wet it and then you kind of squeeze it out then you just wipe so you might have to wipe a few times for it all to come out then it just looks like that the hair has come off on the rag also don't forget to set the four minute timer for the one at the top and then just wipe it off be careful not to get the wipe the other stuff off but yeah just wipe it off and then there you go. So then you just, we're gonna wait that out. We're gonna come back, we're gonna wipe that off and then we're going to speed through the other eyebrow. A few minutes later. So using the same towel, you're gonna again put some water on it and then just take your finger and then you're just gonna slide it off. Just like that. And then your towel is gonna look like that. And then you just wanna clean it up. Make sure you're using cold water to wipe it off. So we finished this one. I did mess up a little bit, but again, mistakes happen. It's here, it's gonna grow back, you're fine. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. But I will say this, so just to kind of give you guys a few tips, when I do this, I like to do it um, in the morning because I don't wash my face in the morning. I don't have a routine for the morning. I only have a nighttime routine. And so what I like to do is wash my face the night before. And then once I wake up in the morning, that's when I like to do it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and speed through this one right here. Simple is going to be the same thing as this one. So first things first, we want to brush the shape. And then we're going to follow the shape. Remember, less is more. Then we're gonna set our timer for four minutes. Then we can go back in and fix it up how we want to. All right, and then after the timer finishes, we're gonna do the top one. All right, and then don't forget, you set the timer for that. And then while that timer is going, you're gonna take off the bottom. Cold water only. So now I'm just wiping it off. Another thing you can do like as your last step, you can go in with some aloe vera gel. If there's any spots you missed, honestly, this isn't bad, so I'm not even gonna go over it for real. But if there were any spots you missed, you would go in with the tweezer. You can put it on there again. I'm actually gonna put it on there again. Or you can just choose to shave it off with a razor. Me being me, I'm actually gonna go into those certain spots one more time being super, super careful and only putting it on the actual hairs themselves. Honestly, I don't recommend this. I recommend you just go in with some tweezers. What do you guys think? All right, so while I let this sit, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about 
the Razor Lease Cream Shave. So this Razor Lease Cream Shave, it has a shea butter and sweet almond oil in it, which is so good. You can really just pause and read this. So this is what we're using. You can get this at your local beauty supply. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna give this a, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10, cause you gotta really know what you're doing or you gonna burn yourself. It doesn't have an expiration date, which is really good. This was $4.25. It's really for beards, so you know the, the, their intention is you're gonna use more, but it's for facial hair. If your eyebrows facial hair, why not do it? You can also use it as like nair, and I think they even have nair for the face. It says the best way to get rid of razor bumps is to get rid of the razor, which is crazy. I wipe it off with you guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Do we do it over here? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. And then that is pretty much it, you guys. So, so there we have my eyebrows. And that's how you get a close shave. I thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button on the screen or down below. Hit the little crown. I think it's over here. I don't even remember where it is. You can really only see it on the desktop on a computer. Anyways, let me go make the next video. And I hope to catch you there. Bye.